This is my new game, Lunaform. It's a 2D isometric construction management game where you play as a spaceman tasked with terraforming the moon, inspired greatly by the Artemis program and games like Surviving Mars, SimCity, Theme Hospital and Northgard. I use Adobe Firefly to look for inspiration and get some ideas around art styles and colour palettes. I started out by creating some assets in Adobe Illustrator. Using a grid and some basic shapes, I had a pretty good basis for some moon surface tiles. Quick googling for some vector based isometric rocks gave me an image I could trace in Illustrator to turn the raster JPEG into a vector graphic. This enabled me to select individual parts and recolor them to match the tiles. I set up a new scene in Unity and created a 2D isometric tile map. After fixing some sizing issues, I painted the tile sprites onto the tile map to create a lunar surface. I made several different tiles with different sized craters to add some variation to the map. I later found out that this was a slow and inefficient way of building a tile map, but I'm new to Unity so this is all part of a very steep learning curve for me. Next came the Spaceman. I've yet to come up with a name for him. I put him inside an image object. I've seen people use sprite objects and I've also seen others just paint them on using the same palette method as the tile map. I'm still not 100% sure which is the right way to go, but as you'll probably see later on, I've changed this up a few times. Using a pretty basic script I found online, I managed to get him moving around the screen wherever I clicked the mouse. That was until he just suddenly disappeared. It turns out that even though he appears to stop when he arrives at wherever you click, he actually is still moving, just incredibly slowly. And this somehow messed up the Z positioning of the sprite, meaning he would seemingly vanish into thin air. I added a tolerance level so that once he was close enough, he would simply snap to the place where the user clicked and stop. It seems to work for now. The map is quite big, so I wanted the camera to follow the spaceman around as he moved. seemed to work at first, although for some reason the screen went blank once the camera had located the spaceman. At first I thought it might have been something to do with the lighting, so I messed around with adding various lights to the scene and adjusting the positions, directions and values in the inspector. Then I thought it might have been the Z positioning of the various layers of objects. I thought I had it fixed. Well, at least the screen wasn't going blank. Oh dear. After a lot of messing around and some pretty crazy bugs, I found out that it actually was to do with the Z positioning of the camera, and forcing it to be in front of everything else seemed to do the trick. The spaceman now moves around the screen and the camera follows. I'm feeling pretty pleased with the progress so far, and I have a lot planned for this game, but for now, if you've made it this far, then thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.